Hey YouTube, what's going on? Ryan Knows Tech here with TechInform.us and today's request video is about the Mac. 4 gig or 8 gigs of RAM. Um, there's a lot of Mac users still using 2 gig or less. If you're running Leopard or Snow Leopard on 2 gigs or less, I feel bad for you. I ran mine on 4 gig for a while. It was miserable. Mac OS 10.5 and 10.6, that's Leopard and Snow Leopard, both of those systems are absolutely pitiful with memory management. So RAM is relatively cheap, at least it was. Uh, it's kind of on its way back up, so every day is a good day to buy RAM and better than the next. Um, yes, buy more memory, you need it. <laughs> 2 gig is not sufficient, even if you just use Safari and stuff like that. I've used machines with 2 gig, very slow, very bad. 4 gig. 4 gig is acceptable, I would say. If you're just going to use Safari, iTunes, applications like that, 4 gig is okay. If you're going to do video editing more than maybe once a week, if you're going to do anything with Photoshop, with design, if that's in code, or any of these larger applications, um, as far as I'm concerned, it is mandatory that you use a machine with at least 6 gigabytes and why I frown upon 6 gigabytes is because that means you have a 2 gig and a 4 gig chip inside the machine. And the problem with that is you lose dual channel memory. Each of those chips are not the exact same, so it can't use them both like, like RAID for hard drives. It, it uses the dual channel technology. If you have two of the same, whether that be two 1 megabytes or two 8 gigabyte chips, it's going to be faster. You're going to use that full, full uh, duplex DDR3 1066 megahertz speed. So 8 gig is definitely the way to go. Unfortunately, it's expensive. I'm sitting here. I just booted up. Uptime is low. I have Activity Monitor running. I have Safari running with one window open. And I have ScreenFlow running recording this video. I'm using 1.92 gigabytes of memory. Can you imagine having only two? Four wouldn't be too bad right now. This could handle four. But once I started editing, it would have, uh, it would have a lot of problems. So I have six gigabytes free, 6.08 gigabytes free right now. If I open Photoshop, TweetDeck, uh, a couple more Safari stuff, um, iTunes, get, you know, get into Photoshop a little bit, that's going to diminish. I've had it down to still a couple hundred megabytes free. Now, the best place I have found to upgrade the RAM is... Well, obviously, not from Apple.com. Apple.com would be the absolute worst place to, to upgrade your memory. It's very expensive. Um, the best place I found is Other World Computing, MacSales.com. I'll put that link down below if I can remember. You go to MacSales.com. It's Other World Computer Computing, Quality Products, Expert Sales Since 1988. You're going to find all these different tabs. It's a pretty cluttered site, I think, but it's relatively easy to find what you want. Click on memory here, MacBook and MacBook Pro. Let's see, what do you have? MacBook Pro 13 inch, yep. Here we are. That's going to tell you all the compatible monitor, uh, models here. And then here are the, the recommended memory upgrades 8 gig kit, 6 gig kit, and 4 gig kit. Unfortunately, the 8 gig kit is $270. It's actually dropped since I bought it, it was $299. Um, so it's expensive, but it's good RAM. It is very good RAM, and I definitely recommend that you get um, the the right RAM for it, the DDR3 1066 megahertz 204 pin. And uh, uh, unfortunately, eight gigabytes is going to fill up the machine. I would go for 16 if I could. I can't. So you definitely want to upgrade the RAM to eight gig if you're going to be doing work like that. Doing it from Apple, it's going to cost you uh, nearly twice that amount of money. And is the RAM any better? No, I have found that this RAM. Um, merits higher speeds when I run Windows on the MacBook Pro than the other RAM did. Of course it's more, but that should not affect these speeds. You can also upgrade your hard drives and stuff like that here. Um, that's probably my next upgrade. I'll probably put a terabyte in the MacBook Pro. I might do a video on how to do that. But it's pretty easy. You can buy your Mac software here. It's a lot of really nice stuff. Uh, pretty reasonably priced. I checked eBay for the RAM. I did a lot of shopping. And it appears that Other World Computing or MacSales.com is the best place to, to do that. So if you are interested in, in really upgrading the performance of your Mac, um, it's easy to do. Um, you just take the back off and put it in. It recognizes all of it. There's all 8 gigs working fine for me. And it, it definitely snaps up your performance in terms of video, rendering, editing, 
and uh, and of course photo and all your video output and editing work. As my phone goes off, I will have to end this video. Um, can't answer that right now. Sorry about that. My Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Our website is techinform.us. Live web show is every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. So be sure to catch us there or in tomorrow's video. Please subscribe on the way out, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.